Find the equation of the linear function in slope-intercept form given the following formation. So we know that the line goes through the point negative 1, comma, negative 2, and it has a slope of negative 1. So let's write y equals mx plus b. This will be our linear equation. We know that that's m, the slope, and the y-intercept, b. We're already given the slope. It's negative 1. So what I can do is replace this m for a negative 1 already. And so let's do that. y equals negative 1x plus b. We still have y and x uh, untouched over there. And now we still don't know the y-intercept. It's just b right now. How can we find it? My favorite way to do it algebraically is to just plug in x and y into this equation to find b. So x is negative 1 and y is negative 2. So y is negative 2, so negative 1 times x and x is negative 1 plus b. Okay, so right here we have negative 2 equals negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1 plus b. Now I want to isolate b so I will subtract 1 from both sides of the equation negative 2 minus 1, negative 3 equals b. That's it. Now we already have m, we have b, so we have our line. The equation of the line is just y equals negative 1x, or just negative x, <clears throat> plus b, which is negative 3, so negative x minus 3. That's it. That's the equation of our line. I'm also going to sketch it just to show everyone that we're right. <laughs> so the line goes through the point negative 1, comma, negative 2. So negative 1, comma, negative 2 right here. And it has a slope of negative 1. So we go over to the right by 1, down by 1. Let's draw a couple more points here. And now I can just draw a straight line through right here. Okay, and we determined algebraically that b, the y-intercept, was negative 3. And look at that, of course, we were right. That's it. So this line is y equals negative x minus 3. And at this point, we're done.